Mama Bloom's Brew. Mama's astuteness, Papa and Sam have made a deal to sell the factory, lock, stock, and barrel for $800,000. Now, with plenty of time to take a leisurely trip, Mama has decided that instead of taking the train to Hollywood, they'll drive. Just now, Mama and Papa are at home. Uh, Papa is recovering from the two successive shocks. Backy. Backy. Ah, Backy. Yeah, what do you want now? Nothing. I'm calling you because I like to hear my own voice. Jake, are you being foolish or just talking through your head? Mama, I'm being nothing but excited. Look at me. I'm a nervous wreck. One day we're just going to take a vacation. The next day the factory is sold. And what a profit. <laughs> then suddenly we're going to drive to Hollywood instead of taking the train. Papa, on the day we are going to leave, you shouldn't be aggravated. You have to drive. And you can't drive when you are nervous. It might give a collection. A collect... Mama, collision. So what's the difference, Jake? I know what I mean. <sighs> you got all your things back. Sure, Papa, sure. Have you? Have I? Have I? She has me. I can't find anything. For three hours, I've been looking for the blue suit with a little pinstripe. And I ain't got time to play hide-and-seek with a suit of clothes. The blue suit with the pinstripe? The blue suit with the pinstripe. Hmm. Blue suit with... <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, I, I gave it away. You gave it away? Mama, I'm afraid to look around. The roof might be gone. Jake, our roof over our head we need. But you don't need that blue suit. So I gave it to the man who takes away the hashes. Oy. A $50 suit, and you gave it to the man who takes away the ashes. Mama, the suit was still good, like not, new. Not for you, no. You are now retired. Retired. And because I'm retired, I'm going to wear silks and satins and maybe a fur collar on my coat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you'd look like something from a moving picture. So what if I do? We're going to Hollywood, ain't we? Jake, get your things packed. Have I got anything left to pack, Mama? Could I have maybe a shirt to wear, maybe a pair of socks? I don't ask for much. Papa, don't be sarcastic like that. <laughs> Plenty of clothes you've got. Hurry and get them in the releases. No releases. Can't we leave tomorrow, Mama? There is an old saying, but you can't do today. Don't wait until tomorrow, or it might have happened already. Soon the children will be here to see us go, and we won't be ready to go. I, they, I don't know what I'm doing. Papa, don't tell me things I already know. Go and bring in the suits. I'll pack them for you. All right, Mama, all right. Did you get the car looked at? I did. $7.68 it cost me to get it greased and oiled and the brakes fixed, too. Oh, Jack, uh, bring in the new shoes, eh? Oh, Mama, leave them home. Please let me. No, Jack. Just because we are going to drive in the car when nobody sees us, you shouldn't dress like a oboe. A hobo, Mama, not an oboe. An oboe is something you play on. Mm -hmm. So if you wear the old shoes, you'll look like something that is played on. Go ahead, Jack. Take the nice clothes. Uh, I guess I might just as well. <laughs> To go on a vacation. I have to look like something in the advertisements. Jake, I want that you should look lovely. I don't want to look lovely. I want to look comfortable. I know, Papa, but when you look comfortable, you do not look lovely. <laughs> I know. All right, all right. For you, I will dress like a, like a jigger. Gigolo, Papa, gigolo. I... Huh? <laughs> you said something wrong. <laughs> and you said it right. I know that. <laughs> Jake, don't stand there looking at me with your mouth open. Go upstairs and get your clothes. The good one. <laughs> yeah, Mama. Uh, oh, Becky, <laughs> maybe we're going to take a little lunch along? Lunch? Why? Why, to eat. 
And maybe we're not going to eat while we're going on a trip, huh? Mm -hmm. That would be a miracle for you. Then we'll take a little lunch. They huh? are going to buy on the road what we need. But a little lunch to take along would be nice, Mama. Maybe a few sandwiches, some olives. <laughs> Just a bite so that we don't eat too much when we get to a hotel. Jake, on the day that we are going to leave, should you make me get our lunch ready? For me, this will be a vacation, too. The first vacation that you and me are going on together. <laughs> The first vacation together. You're right, Mommy, you're right. So we won't take any lunch along. We'll <laughs> just take maybe a candy bar. Hmm? Not even a candy bar. Now you go on, Jake, and bring down the good suits and the good shoes, and then we'll be all finished and ready to go. All right, Becky. <laughs> Mama. Yeah, Jake? Mama, you're very happy. <laughs> Jake, I'm so happy that I think I may be dreaming all about this. <laughs> For 25 years, maybe you dreamed about it. Yeah, yeah. And for 25 cents, you didn't say a single little word. Why should I, Jack? After all, if something is or is not going to happen, nobody can do anything about it. So for 25 years, I'm being very patient. I think that someday we will do something like this. But before we do, I'm happy because I have you and the children. Jack, our good thing is worth waiting for a long, long time. Mama, you know something? What, sir? I love you more every day. <laughs> Jack, get away now, I'm packing. Well, maybe you give me a little kiss, huh? Papa, don't be a shlamin. Just one little one, then I'll go get my clothes. Come on, Mama, come on. <laughs> All right, Papa. All right. <laughs> Well, it's uh, oh, a yeah. technique, Pa. Sidney, do you have to crawl up like that? Well, the door was open, so I just walked in. <laughs> I'm glad we did, aren't you, Sally? I'll say. That technique might come in handy in the movie. Sidney, someday I'm going to get mad at you. It's getting so I can't even, uh, I can't even stand close to Mama without having kibitzes around. Papa, don't be ashamed. Certainly not, Paul. Why, it was sweet. Sweet? It was, uh, I am going into Pat. <laughs> he is a dear. Mm, there is only one Papa. And I'm glad that I got him before I the golf up. I don't think she even came close. To Coney Island, that's all. Well, just about ready for the great adventure, Ma. Adventure? Adventure? But that your Papa and me is going to take a little vacation. So we shouldn't get in trouble by having adventures. Oh, I didn't congratulate you, Ma, on that little deal you put over on Mr. Grenville. I didn't recognize him. Mm, so that's a good thing that I was there. But even if I wasn't, everything would have been all right. Your papa's been fair in business. He's honest. So everything would have come out all right. Because the way you act is what you get. Yet and Harold aren't here yet? Not yet, but they will be soon. Got everything locked up, Ma? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe you and Sidney could look in here once in a while while your pop and me is gone. Why, sure, Ma. I'd be glad to. Oh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Jake. Jake. Are you manufacturing those new shoes? I am coming right away, Becky. Coming right away. Have you decided where you're going to stop first, Ma? No. Now that we are going to take our time, we'll stop where we want to for as long as we want to and how we want to. Well, here, let me give you a hand with that grip. Well, Ma. here's everything, Mama. There's the release. Right here, Papa. Give me the shoes. No, Mama, no. You sit down and rest. I will pack them. No, Jake. <laughs> when you pack them, they look like washboards when you take them out. I'll pack them. No, 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 Mama. You're tired. You sit down. I will do all the packing. Jake, you are acting suspicioned. Suspicious, Ma. He is doing something in front of my back that he wants that I shouldn't know about. Mama, Mama, then I want to help you. Why do you always think I'm doing something that I want you shouldn't know about? Because I've known you for 25 years, Jake, and more. I will pack the suits. Well, let him pack them, Ma. Mm, thank you, Sidney. <laughs> Why, of course. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Mm, Jake, give me the suit. Oh, no, Mama, please rest yourself. Take it easy. Then you went to Chicago with Sam, you wouldn't pack the suits because you couldn't. And now you're so anxious to pack them that I am looking for a noodle in the haystack. Uh, well, all right, Mama. Here they are. <laughs> all right, Papa. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought so. Apples. <laughs> Jake, so you're going to make a peddler's wagon out of the car? But, Mama, when you're driving, you get hungry. Why do you say when I'm driving, Jake? Uh, Hello, everyone. Can we come in? Yes, the darling. Sure, come in. Greetings, come in. Everyone. Hello. 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 Are you all set to go? Yeah, yeah. Everything is ready. As soon as Papa's bag is packed without the apples, <laughs> we will leave. Well, <laughs> say, how does it feel to be a wealthy, retired businessman, Pa? How does it feel, Harold? I don't know. I never felt like one, so how can I tell if I am feeling like it? Well, all I know is you both certainly deserve this. How about it, Sally? And how? Here, Ma, I'll give you a lift for that. <laughs> it's almost done, darling. Uh, Jake, why did you bring the whole shoes? Mama, you're not going to let me eat, so please let me drive in comfort. 
car, Red Papa. You can drive in the whole shoes, but when we get out of the car, you'll put on the good one. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> so, part of the time, I will not be miserable. Mm. That's it. Everything is finished. Well, I guess you're ready to leave. Yeah, I... I guess they're ready to leave. There's uh, everything done, Ma? Oh, we'll go out to the car with you. My darling. Now, Ma, please don't do that. No, no Ma. Mama, we are going on just a little vacation. We're not going to be gone forever. I know, I know, but it... Jake, take the apple out of your pocket. Oh. You're bulging like a sack from Santa Claus. <laughs> well, we might as well get going. Wait a minute, I have to look around. Papa, did you close the windows upstairs? I closed them, Mama, and I locked them, and everything is all right. The, the cellar door is locked, the eh? Of course, Ma, everything's all right. Sarah, I want that you should be very careful. Take care from yourself. And you too, Yetta. Yeah, Ma. Harold, Sydney, be very careful of my daughters. Very careful. Don't you worry about that, Ma. We'll have them waiting for you when you get back just like they are now. <laughs> That's good, Harold. That's good. Well... We are ready. For the last ten minutes, we've been ready, and we're still standing in the same spot. Come on, Mama, everybody, come on, come on. You got the road map? In the car. And we ain't forgetting something, no, yeah? No, no, Becky, no, we are not forgetting anything. We've got the grips, we've got, we got everything. Now, come on. If we stay here longer, we'll have to sleep here tonight. Come on, come okay, on, come on. Okay, off you go. I'll close and lock the door. Yes, sir. Sarah, walk with me. Now, Ma, no crying. This is supposed to be a happy leave-taking. There ain't any such thing, Sarah. This one is. All right, all right. <laughs> come on, everybody, come on, Papa, come on. Papa, don't be so impatient, huh? Mm. Uh, that does it. Uh, try the door, Harold. Try it again. Uh, sound and tight. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> well, good night. Don't go goodbye. far. Don't forget you're a retired businessman now. Don't think about the knee pants business. The knee pants business. Just like yesterday, it seems that Sam and me... Uh, well, well, <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, Pa. Goodbye. Uh, Sidney and Harold, uh, kiss me goodbye. Oh, uh, I don't think that's necessary. What did you say? Couldn't hold off any longer, huh, Harold? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, Sid. Harold, <laughs> Sidney, what is all this? <laughs> Ma, take a look at our cars. You see anything about them? Why, you, 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 you both got suitcases and, and yatta. <laughs> you, you, you. After saying goodbye, so that we should cry for oh, you. Oh, we weren't going to cheat ourselves out of the fun of seeing the looks on your faces. So we thought we'd keep you waiting for a while before, before we... Before we told you that we're all coming along with you. You're coming along with us? That's good, that's good. <laughs> good. Papa, now I think I will cry.